Okay, eight seasons, 73 episodes, hundreds of hours of watching. Game of Thrones is a sure thing to talk about. But why now? Because my friend, I just completed binge watching it during this lockdown. Come on, allow me to express my feelings here. Like many others, the ending did not go well with me. I was okay until the final episode. Until this moment when Jon Snow meets our beloved queen Daenerys Targaryen. Here, right in front of this iron throne, where all it began. I was scratching my head what was happening frame to frame. So I came up with these three situations which could have been a super ending, at least to me. Watch until this end and let me know what you think. Ready? Let's jump in. My third choice. After the Queen's killing and further departure of Jon Snow, uh, it was made clear that someone from the Stark's family to be crowned the King or the Queen. My choice? Arya Stark could have been made the rightful Queen to the throne since she was the one who truly fought all the enemies of the Stark family and surveyed everything thrown at her between life and death. If not for her, I think the Night King would have been ruling the Seven Kingdoms. Right? So she was brilliant, young and a warrior and she carried the true legacy of uh, Ned Stark and saw through what Ned Stark believed in ruling their subjects. My second choice, Jon Snow should have not killed the mother of dragons and in fact married her irrespective of indifferences and slowly but ultimately convinced the queen to change the path for good and ruled in harmony. Boring right? But Jon Snow killed her and what did the dragon did seeing her mother dying? Just melting the iron throne. What did the thousands of Sullis do for the killing of their master who brought them the freedom? And I could not understand where the daughter of the midst of all this. I couldn't understand the emotions here. Now you feel that after all it was not boring at all. My first choice. I wanted the lead to win. I wanted a punch. I wanted Jon Snow to have scored a home run. Come on guys. This man became the commander of the Night Watch out of merit. This man united the violence. This man united the North and defeated the Night King's army. Jon Snow showed empathy to even the Lannister's army while along with all the other people in the King's Landing got killed mercilessly. He climbing the throne was the right thing uh, to me. Look, after all, episode after episode showing him sacrificing for others. For what? Seeing him lose at the end like this? So here's my ultimate desire to see G.O.D. again if at all Queen Targaryen miraculously rises from her death and avenges to fight back the Starks. Bran sees this coming and calls out for Jon Snow to fight beside him and defend the kingdom. Jon Snow does it again along with Arya Stark and in style rebuilds the seven kingdoms. End of fantasy. Hope you like my simple uh, but yet sweet plot ending plots. With that, it's a wrap. See you in my next video.